I will try to show a basic concept of organization service control policy. I assume that I have a root account under that. I have multiple OUs or departments. For example, dev, test, IND. And then within the dev OUs, I have multiple accounts. So what I want is I want to restrict all the accounts within dev only able to launch D2 micro instance only T2 micro instance. So how can I do that? Uh, the first naive approach is using identity based policy attach and policy to each dev account but that's not not great. So we another way is, is a better way is using SCP attach and SCP to root or to dev OUs and that will be inherited to down level to all the dev accounts. However, we have to note that SCP does not grant the permission yet. No permission yet. It's like the boundaries, the limitations. And then the final permissions given to me account is the intersections between identity based policy attached to me account and the SCP policies. It is the intersections. So let's jump in and do it. Okay, so let me query uh, to see how many. So what I'm going to do is I uh, create a new OUs, and then I create a me account, and I move me account into the new OUs, and then I apply SCP policy to limit all the accounts in new OUs only able to launch T2 micro. Let me query my organization. So in my organization, I have two OUs, test, dev, and of course uh, uh, the default, the root OU. So actually three. So now we're going to create a new uh, account. Okay, I'm going to... So I call this, this one is a five. And... Uh, Okay, let me copy. Okay, so I create a new account. Uh, I will show you in the, the console later on. Uh, maybe I need to go to the console and I check. I take note the account ID, so let me go here. So this is a new created account, and let me copy the account ID. And I export it, me account ID. Okay, and now I create a new OU. And let me call it the uh, let's call it finance OU. Okay, let's check. So uh, let's check. I want to see the finance. Okay, so we got finance OU, and now we're gonna move. We're gonna move the me account into finance. But before that, I uh, I want to export. So let me copy the. Let me copy this finance OUID. And 
and we're gonna move the OU okay so we're gonna move the me account into the finance finance okay let me copy this command Repair here. so we're gonna move the me account from the top root into the finance so let's check Uh, let me check okay we need to uh, let me export again this one uh, has some typo errors. Okay. So we move again. Move. Okay. And now it has been moved. I don't like the console. I don't like it web console. So I try to use terminal. Okay. So we have moved me account into finance. Now we're going to make a policy. A service control policy type and apply to the finance OU. Before that I want to show that uh, uh, by default AWS has already assigned uh, AWS SCP already attached a full access policy to this account and to this OU. Right? But I want to limit the, the permissions so let me create a new policy So this is uh, the policy I'm gonna create, right? If if the instance is not T2 micro deny, that is, if the instance is not T2 micro deny, that is a policy, and I save it to policy .json. Yeah, right. And now I are gonna create a policy. So let me copy the command. Let me change this one to a new name. Okay. And we're going to create that policy now. Okay. Okay, so we create STP policy and let me export the policy ID and we can file the policy here uh, policy service control policy yeah this is only allowed to micro this is we just created and now we need to attach the final step right so we're gonna we're gonna attach to the finance OU so let me go to here and change this to finance copy it okay Okay, so now let's go and check. Go for almost, almost finish. Let's go to the finance and let's see policy refresh.
okay so we have applied only allowed it to micro to this OU and let's go to down level to the mark to me account and see policy okay so applied only allowed it to micros now let me switch the raw to this uh, I will switch raw to this account and check can it launch any kind of instance except the T2 micro so let me try to do it So I'm gonna try to switch the role and let me check uh, so I have to type here the uh, okay so uh, let me copy something so first I'm gonna I have to copy I copy the role name first Uh, we need a row name I store it yeah this one by default already have this row name so let me copy and then I uh, the row name here and I call it the me account and let me copy me account ID here Okay, and switch the role. Okay, so now we're in me account and we're trying to launch EC2 instance. Let's try to launch a large EC2 instance, not the T2 micro. okay so I choose medium no key pair and I try to launch it okay so you see not authorized to launch it now let's come back and try to launch a t2 micro okay launches Okay, success. So that's all, right? That's all. Thank you.